rolling egg. Wait, what do you even mean by this? I think I did what you said. I'm making your worst comments into scratch games. And believe me, the last game is actually really good. So let's go. Collecting virtual dust in a never ending room. Cleaning simulator. Okay. All right. So as you can see here, we have to click anywhere to start. So I should click here. And so as you can see, we have to, you know, clean these guys up because it's going to get a bit messy around the carpet. But over time, you'll see that it gets very, very, I don't even know what to call it, big. Up and here we start. Yeah, there we go. Actually crazy. Yeah, I'm going to have way too much fun doing this. Let's go to the next comment. A game where you need to go to Walmart and find your dad in the milk aisle, but it's it's like a speed running game. I think I've heard this somewhere before. Now enough of the game. Well, I guess we're making a game. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna make a player, but first I'm gonna name a player and then ready, magical, one, two, three. Bam. All right, so now I have an entire running animation. And so let's just do a little bit of coding. Uh, and by coding, I mean sealing this code, but it's from my own game, so it's okay. Bam. It just switches between the different running animations and it makes my life a lot easier. So let me just hook it all up. Now we have our run animation, which I think looks really smooth. I'm actually like kind of in love with it. I didn't know it was so much fun to make these. Like, look at how smooth that looks. Like, holy crap. Plus, even if I wanted to, I could just make it like a lot faster. Like, boom, 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 boom. And now with the snap of my fingers, we're going to add some physics. Well, you can't really hear me snap, but like, bam. And now we have hitboxes and yitty yitty how dope is this i can just feel the danny forcing through me right now i'm gonna make him proud i managed to draw a bit of a background i'm just gonna make a loop and so i'm just gonna finish the game now but here's what it looks like so far yeah i'll be back when it's done so i present to you lost dad simulator let's just hop right in as soon as i click start i lost my dad in the grocery store i must find my dad and i switches to click anywhere to start and i click start start and you see i mean like it's not really a speed running game but like yeah no it, it's speed running it now you gotta dodge the carts and the humans and you have to to make it to zero seconds so i guess i'm gonna call this a speed running game and yeah i'm surprised it didn't take me longer to make the rubber repeating background i thought those were gonna take like ages all right come on come on got this and i'm gonna give you a little hint at the end about trying to find your dad because i don't think you're gonna really enjoy that oh, oh my god. god well oh, dude, oh jesus christ oh my god oh my god oh bro <laughs> yeah you see the death is kind of uh kind of questionable but the cool thing is that it's quite literally impossible to get to the end and i'll show you how but i just removed this code right here and i start the game and i click as you can see you can't die anymore and i just pass right through them but if we get to the very end no i guess i'll show you from here you can see that they get really really crowded that's because i make these guys spawn carts and the humans i make them spawn something divided by the timer and so eventually it'll just become like this and uh yeah this is quite literally impossible to get past like <laughs> look at this <laughs> it's impossible to beat it and then eventually it just stay like this yeah i, I don't know what to do it looks like some kind of hole out uh, the next comment a gamer ai controls the player this one sounds interesting so here's my little idea i'm gonna drag in this physics starter pack that i set up and it looks like this and now i'm gonna hook it up to some ai well i guess i'm gonna make it to be honest i'm gonna make an actual area what if i kept everything black like a black and white kind of game but i should be kind of sick I'll make you white i'll make the background black and i'll make you white and then i'm gonna make some you know ledges or platforms just so the man can jump on some stuff if he wanted to so here's what the level's looking like so far but i think i should just like make the enemy now so i'm just gonna name him to ai player right click duplicate and name this ai enemy and obviously because he's an enemy let's make him red and so i'm gonna do a bit of coding and i'll be back with an update okay so i finished the game i just called it ai game i'll give you a bit of a preview as we see here we have the white guy who's us and the red guy who's trying to tag us and now we want to avoid getting tagged and so i'm gonna tell you a little bit how it works so i started with the enemy ai basically i make it so it can jump anywhere from 0 0.1 seconds to 0 0.5 seconds so it's not constantly jumping and then if the exposition of the player is less than its exposition it's gonna move to the left but if it's greater it's gonna move to the right with a little bit of delay in between so the ai is pretty simple but when you go into the ai player we have to make it run away from the red guy and the red guy is just trying to come towards us so we have these two scripts here if the distance of the ai enemy is greater than 200 it's just going to do some random movements you know it may go to left it may go right it just depends it's all random but then if it's less than 200 so, so the ai is close but before i tell you that the player usually gets caught in the corner so i made it so if it goes less than negative 200 so around here it's just going to go to the right and if it goes around over here it's just going to the left but besides that if the exposition of the AI enemy is greater than the exposition. It's basically the same code of the AI enemy, but reverse. I hope that makes a little bit of sense, but we also have a timer and a world record if you want to try it for yourself. Most of these games aren't going to come out, but just because you're not polished enough, but I think this one's fine enough. By the way, if you made it this far in the video, you may as well like and subscribe. Really, I'm doing something well. So now let's look at the game.
Okay, so it took 86 seconds, which is so far the world wreck because I'm the only one who played it. But that's actually pretty good because I've been caught in like two seconds before. All right, next comment. A sussy ball that farts to win. Oh, what is this comment section? Why did you make me do this? Why did you possibly- A turtle that duplicates every time I touches a wall. That also seems like a cool idea. Oh, look at the cute little turtle. Wow. Going in the sea. Oh, no. We have, we have two turtles now. Wow. That's pretty- That's pretty interesting. I, I wonder what happens when they touch the other wall. Hey, yo. They, they, they keep duplicating. That's that's crazy. I, I hope that doesn't happen again. Oh, my God. Look at that corner. Oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> There's so many. It's so laggy. Bro, that's actually crazy. Make a game where you try to die. Now, this- one's good <sighs> i can't do this anymore I, I can't take it the bullying the money problems my girlfriend just left me i don't i, I don't know what to do i i think i just need to end it all hey, hey, hey yo man 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 hello man what are you do what are you doing man i can't take it no more my girlfriend left me everything sucks i'm broke i get bullied i, I just can't do this no more come on man there's so much more to life you have so many new chances you're so young you have so much opportunity don't do it come on join me over here i'm sorry but this is what i was supposed to do <laughs> Whoa, yo, this is kind of fun. Yeah, I, I think I'll continue living. Wait, what did that guy just do? Wait, wait a minute. Bruh, bruh, bruh.